Hello students, once again welcome to Bholanath Academy. In this video students, we are going to see what is hydrogen bonding and we are going to discuss the types of hydrogen bonding. So first students, what is hydrogen bonding? The electrostatic force of attraction which binds hydrogen of one molecule with electronegative atom of another molecule is known as hydrogen bonding. So here students, this is the electronegative atom and this is what hydrogen atom. These two are two molecules. Now students, so this dotted line will say tell you about the electrostatic force of attraction and this is called as hydrogen bonding understand this is not hydrogen bonding this dotted line will tell you this is called as what hydrogen bonding so what is hydrogen bonding the electrostatic force of attraction which binds hydrogen of one molecule with electronegative atom of another molecule is known as hydrogen bonding here students you have two types of hydrogen bonding now we are going to see the types of hydrogen bonding. First we are going to see intramolecular hydrogen bonding. Intramolecular. Inside same molecules. How the bond is present that is called as what? Intramolecular hydrogen bonding. In this hydrogen bonding students, hydrogen bonding occur in the atom of the single molecule. This is the single molecules. The hydrogen bonding occur in the atom of single molecule is called intra hydrogen bonding. It may be linked to two group of the result in the formation of cyclic or ring structure. This can be regarded as chelation. This is also called as what? Chelation. Now, students, here you can see this, this dotted line. Understanding this is the electronegative atom and this is what? Hydrogen atom. This dotted line will tell you this is the, there is a formation of cyclic uh, ring structure and this is because of the hydrogen bonding. This is also called as what? Chelation. Now, here also you can see, students, here the hydrogen is there, students. This is the hydroxyl group of hydrogen. And there is a formation of ring structure here also that is called, called as what chelation chelation is taking place because of the hydrogen bonding so this dotted line is tell you the hydrogen bonding now students second type is students you have intermolecular hydrogen here inter means what between two molecules intramolecular we have seen what in only one single molecule here the intermolecular hydrogen bonding these are hydrogen bonding formed between the different molecules Understanding here this is the first HF, second HF and third HF. So we can say this is about different different molecules. We are not a single, this is single, this is single, this is all single. But here the bonding is what? From HF, HF, HF. How the, due to this molecule, the exit as chain of molecule is as association of molecules. Because of this hydrogen bonding, there is a formation of chain. Understanding? So this is the hydrogen bonding formed between the different molecules. This is HF. HF. So understanding this is the electronegative atom and this is what hydrogen atom of HF. They they will form the hydrogen bond. This dotted part is called as what hydrogen bond because it is having different different molecules students. That is why it is called as what intermolecular hydrogen bonding. Understanding? So intramolecular and intermolecular. Here we have seen what intermolecular. The molecule may be different. Here the same molecules are there students. Both molecules are different different. Understanding? HF HF HF. Now. Hydrogen bonding of this type represents strong intermolecular interaction. It is stronger intermolecular interaction students. Now one more type of hydrogen bonding we have students. Pi H hydrogen bonding. Pi hydrogen bonding. Hydrogen bonding occurs due to the presence of electron in the system which can act as a proton acceptor or base is called pi hydrogen bonding. Understanding students, example here students phenol and benzene. Here students when you see benzene with here you have what pi type of uh, acceptors proton acceptors so that is why it is called as what presence of pi electrons are present in the benzene because of that there is a formation of what intermolecular intermolecular hydrogen bonding so that is because of the pi electrons are there that is why it is called as what pi hydrogen bonding so this is the one example students in nickel dmg is a example of intramolecular pi hydrogen this is the intramolecular pi hydrogen bonding and this is what intermolecular pi hydrogen bonding understanding these two are the examples because of the pi electrons now students we are going to see some properties of hydrogen bonding now which type of properties hydrogen bonding are having students hydrogen bond is formed between a and b a and b like this students you can show like this provided by a and b are strongly electronegative the tendencies to form hydrogen bond increase with increase in electronegativity when there is a more electronegativity, there is a formation of more hydrogen bonding. It never involves more than two atoms, excluding hydrogen atom. It never involves more than two atoms. The bond form is not a simple covalent bond. This is never simple covalent bond. 
bond energy of hydrogen bonding is always less than compared to covalent hydrogen bonding hydrogen bonding is weaker than covalent bond this is clear from the bond angles hydrogen does not lie between the atom a and b exactly midway but it is close to the which it is what covalent bonded so understanding the, this hydrogen is more shifted toward the this atom understanding hydrogen bond is larger here it is what when you see the length students it is larger than the hydrogen and a bond understanding weaker so this bond is what hydrogen bonding is weaker than this what covalent bond the bond energy involving van der waals force is always greater than 5 kJ per mole hydrogen bond is not a van der waals force understanding students now we are going to see methods of detection of hydrogen bonding how you are going to find the hydrogen bondings are present or not so we, first we have students rs method first method is called as what infrared spectroscopy this is called as infrared spectroscopy understanding irs so with the help of the infrared spectroscopy students when hydrogen bond is formed following changes occurs first students when you find in spectroscopy when you see ir spectroscopy ir yes spectroscopy the absorption band due to the a and a hydrogen stretching vibration are shifted to lower frequency 3300 cm inverse this shifting is due to the weakening of the force constant understanding students this way we can observe the hydrogen bonding vibration mode which corresponds to hydrogen bonds are observed at lower frequency far ir in far infrared the fundamental frequency which is associated with hydroxyl stretching found to 3600 cm inverse if hydroxyl group form the intermolecular hydrogen bond then the additional bond appears at around 3300 cm understanding see the differences because of the hydrogen bonding now one more type is x-ray methods also you can detect whether the compound is having hydrogen bond or not x-ray methods when determination of position of hydrogen bonding is difficult to determine when the distance is very short between the atom of this short distance corresponds to the number of hydrogen bond required by the formula this short distance enable to indicate the position of hydrogen bond. example students in the crystal of sodium bicarbonate the it associated with carbon atom in carbonate group is a distance of 2.55 armstrong from the oxygen atom of the adjacent group it is more repeated from the nearest neighbors this short distance indicate the presence of hydrogen bonding understanding the short distance in carbonate distance this is shorter distance than this understanding so this way we can identify the this way we can see the position of the hydrogen bonding understanding presence of hydrogen bonding now one more type of strength that is called as proton magnetic resonance pmr with the help of this also strength we can detect the hydrogen bonding pmr proton magnetic resonance this method is useful in studying the hydrogen bonding phenomenon in liquid solvent mostly in liquid you can see the formation of hydrogen bond the formation of hydrogen bond modify the electron density around the proton of the x and h groups this is the group here you will find the there will be what electron cloud will be more here electron density around the proton of the x h group the many cases pmr absorption is displayed downward that is to the lower magnetic field causing hydrogen bonding shifted which is added to the existing chemical shift there will be the existing chemical shift hydrogen bonding is usually method is useful in studying the weak intermolecular hydrogen bonding which exhibit a small shift so because of this shifting strengths we can detect the hydrogen of the pmr proton magnetic resonance is very important strengths these are very important for the examination point of view like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day god bless you